The university, since its establishment, now have its first academic audit reports. The programs will be in par with international programs offered in the universities in Australia, New Zealand and the United States. In this audit, we have looked at what is marketable, what is demanded, what the country needs, and what they expect of us as an institution, teacher training institution. So we are cutting out all the other courses that are not attracting students. We are leaving them out. In the process, we are having our staff to work with all the other people. So in that way, we are, our staff are not affected by this report. The university will be cutting down its courses from eight courses per semester to four courses per semester starting next year through its academic restructure plan. English will now be a compulsory course to complete at the university. Our speaking, our presentation, teachers we need to write and speak good English. Whether you are a science student, whether you are humanities, your education, English would be compulsory for you to pass before you go to all the next levels. Secondly, after this launching, starting next year, we will start our program pathway of three plus one. That means we will do three years full content, one year education. The Vice Chancellor announced that UOG will have an administrative restructure. So we have submitted our administrative restructure where we will see three pro vice chancellors, one vice chancellor. And then we'll have our, uh, we have 450 uh, staff strength on ground. We have increased that to 1,250 next year. We, we are told that 1,200 teaching positions were approved in principle. So if we get a letter, then we'll start, start uh, recruiting professors and doctors and senior staff and those critical people that we need. Because now we'll have another 800 more positions in this university. The university is also sending its staff to do PhD in other countries. Seven students of UOG and a staff member are currently at Beijing Normal University and two of the university's lecturers will depart for Shanghai Normal University in September to do their PhDs. These are through the MOU signed between the University of Goroka and the Beijing Normal University and Shanghai Normal University. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News.